In the month that saw the official launch of Leeds University Union's 75th birthday celebrations comes another date to mark, LUU's AGM. The annual general meeting sets out official reports from union trustees on the year's progress, as well as a summary of the union's finances up until the year ending the 31st of July 2013. Just as a formality, I need to check that there's at least 10 students here. Um, so if you're a student, do you want to just raise your hand and we can have a quick count? I think that's safe to say it's more than 10. Cool. So the next bit is going over our trustees. After the staff and student audience were settled and counted, quite literally, Union Affairs Officer Bradley Escorcio discussed the progress of the union's four-year strategic plan. A little book of big impacts was handed out before moving on to finance, where an overall deficit of £230,000 compared to last year was discussed. I think one of the key points is it's been a difficult year um, because of the lower student intake, uh, where intake was down 12%. Uh, also impacted by the nine grand tuition fees, hence the uh, lower intake. And that's had a knock-on effect through, through the union, really, in terms of the revenues coming through the shops and the commercial side of the business. So the union's had to look at its cost base and realign that cost base with that lower uh, intake of students. So what's the direct impact of this realignment on students? Largely price increases in the popular retail and venues outlets. Certain drinks in the union's bars have increased in price and some deals have completely disappeared. The price of some coffee in the hidden cafe has gone up by as much as 30p. Even the much campaigned for essentials meal deal where you can get a sandwich, drink and crisps for £2.29 is now £2.39. Unfortunately, uh, we do try to kind of freeze our prices for, for longer periods than kind of commercial competitors outside. But there are times when our kind of cost, cost price and our staff costs kind of mean we have to have to increase the prices slightly. Um, so, although thankfully, there's no more further increases that we're seeing in the near future. Um, but this is just a way for us to kind of keep those um, costs in in due, because obviously everything that is spent there is going to fund our services, such as student activities and our advice centre. LUU says it was expecting student intake to be less, but had only planned for a five percent drop. 12% less students coming in last year due, they say, to 9k fees means less income and slightly higher prices in the retail areas. Student intake improved this September and with healthy cash balances currently, LUU hopes not to increase prices again for a while. Of course, 2015's AGM will be the only telltale sign to how well LUU keeps to that target. Andy Seddon, The Essential.